All right, look at that hair coming in. I got more hair right now than I did 20 years ago. It's all growing in and it just has to get thicker. Uh, the follicles in the front aren't as thick as the top, which is totally filled in. So it's just a matter of a month or two. And uh, I took your advice. This is an e-cigarette. It delivers nicotine, but it doesn't deliver cancer. Because <laughs> it's not smoke, it's a vapor. Uh, so I'm experimenting with it today, and it's, it seems to be working, drinking lots of Mountain Dew, and put, it, it gives me a little buzz to work. It relaxes me and helps me with my poetry site, which is going like gangbusters, going on 10,000 members. Bernadette started it. And I've been co-founder ever since. Do lots of reviews. Interesting work. Uh, wanted to ask you about your weekend. Uh, wanted to ask you about uh, your workouts. And also wanted to ask you about what you want to be included in the book about you. So far, there's nothing but the incidents of crawling through the window at Erspring Gymnasium to play hand rack turn the lights on low and to play basketball um, if you want any more or any less let me know uh, I'm going with brutal honesty with myself and um, just honesty with other people too I, I don't want to write a novel uh, I, I'm not, I have zero interest in writing a novel the fiction could never match the things that we did during those three years, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. Nothing could match Gary Johnson. Nothing could match a character like Rick Hendricks. Nothing could match uh, the sad suicide of, of uh, Jerry. And so why fictionalize it? You know, sneaking into the lounge at night at Lake Ridge Academy and bringing chips and sodas and having romance. People would be shot doing that today. And, and uh, so I, I try to show the difference in eras and how free we were back then. Uh, then today, where kids are chauffeured everywhere. We walked or rode our bikes since T-ball, you know, since the six years old. and. I also point out in the book that there were more stranger abductions in the 60s than there have been in this millennium. Um, stranger abductions don't happen very often. It's all family, crazy family abductions for custody rights. And, um, you know, there's a school that I walk by every day when I go to my store, and these kids are chauffeured by their parents. They may live a mile away. One school I went to, Fairfax Elementary in the Progressive Integrated Cleveland Heights, Ohio, we walked four miles a day, one mile to school, one mile home to lunch, one mile back to school, and then one mile home. Best memories I've ever had. I would deny being chauffeured. We'd play games and make friends and flirt with the girls and it was a magnificent era that will never never be repeated and um, so please tell me any input you had I had a half an hour conversation with Robbie he's been reading all the serials he's very interested in Lila Wisniewski which I had no idea how to spell and I said oh, well, how do you even know about her and he said he remembers Tom Cupid's talking about her. I know Tom Cupid's was abusive to you, but uh, that's how Rob remembers Lila, is through Tom Cupid's, who never got to first base with her. And uh, the smooth Mike Kemmer from Strongwood's, from Strongville's exclusive Ledgewood development took her on many dates uh, down, down to the old Cleveland Municipal Stadium where uh, he took her to baseball games. I'm sure he took her out to nice dinners. He was just more sophisticated. The fact that he went to a private school, you know. So 
I thought she was a bit, uh, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, just a little bit uh, arrogant, glamour girl, thinks she deserved more because she was pretty. Um, so, but I, I'm just going to include casual names. Uh, I would like to mention the story when you went to um, that woman, friend of Cupid's, and uh, there were five guys and four pieces of pie. And if, if that's all right, um, Major, was that her name? Major, yeah. This Major girl, absolutely despicable, unthinkable. And um, Jean Major, what a fucking cunt. So I'm going to mention that episode. I'll just change your name and um, make it be somebody else. So uh, it's going well. Robbie says I should keep on writing and not stop at 170 pages. And I guess he's right. So looking forward to your emails and hearing how you're doing hearing how the end of your school year is, and uh, hearing more about your plans. I hope you're going to get down to Pensacola. Maybe I could join you one time, get another uh, hotel room. I, I'm a snorer, uh, but unfortunately I don't have the finances.